Good morning. This is Megan Renahan with the Batesville School District. It is time for the Pioneer Update. The Pioneer Update is brought to you by Citizens Bank, where they are people first, and that's great for us because we are students first. This morning we have Miss Carly Daw, who is the Executive Director of the Batesville Area Arts Council. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So, exciting event coming up this weekend, the Arttoberfest. Go ahead and kick us off and tell us about that. This Saturday, October 21st, is the 7th Annual Arttoberfest Arts and Music Festival on Main Street. Um, we will be set up between 4th Street and Broad from 1 to 6 p.m. with all kinds of fun family activities. Tell us about the live music that's going to be going on. I know we've got a great opener. Mr. Ed Casper will be starting the festival with his accordion music, and he has played the beginning of our festival every year since it started. So he always does a great job, and it's very on theme with the Arttoberfest themes. Um, after that at 2.30 will be Low Level Echoes, which is a local Batesville band, and Aaron Walters will round us out at 4.30 to 6 p.m. As of this year, as the seventh annual one, we've exceeded our artists and makers, right? Yes, we may need to expand to another block next year because we have over 45 vendors this year, um, anywhere from paintings to digital art, jewelry, ceramics, baked goods. We have all kinds of stuff for you to come check out on Main Street. That is so much fun. And then the sidewalk talk contest is always one of my favorite things because we get our kiddos involved. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we love to have um, art students involved in this contest every year. Um, we have the junior high through college age division will compete from 1 to 4 p.m. And the fifth or sorry, the K through fifth grade students will compete from 2 to 4 p.m. So bring, you know, your design ready and spend a couple hours drawing on the sidewalk. Um, it's a great, it's a great contest. That is awesome. It is always so much fun to see the kids sketch and what they bring to life. And it really just adds to the, really, it kind of helps with our decorations, doesn't it? Because oh, they just decorate the sidewalks. It's adorable. And the winners will be announced at 415? Yep, on the main stage. Okay, awesome. And then costume contest. So Main Street Batesville, to prepare for their Halloween parade at 3.30, they're going to have a costume contest on our stage for ages 0 to 12. So come dressed in your best Halloween costumes, and I believe they're competing for money as well. So Ooh, yeah. it's exciting. So maybe that'll entice some, some listeners to go ahead and dress up. Yes. That is awesome. And then um, being you know a board member on the Arts Council, we always try to do something at our booth to, mm -hmm. you know, get the people that come involved. So what are some of the activities that they can participate in? So we're going to be tie-dyeing some t-shirts this year um, at the Arts Council booth. We also have some Halloween crafts for the kids. Um, Zach Perrine will be um, set up doing some caricatures, which were a big hit at last year's event. There's also going to be a printmaking demonstration by some Lyon College art students, which is always exciting to see. And then the coloring contest is always such a big hit. I know that we always receive hundreds of submissions. Tell us about what we can do for voting. We've got all of the entries submitted last week and we've got the top 10 in each age group are on our Facebook page so you can go vote for your favorite. Um, the voting closes at 5 p.m. on Friday and we'll announce the winners Saturday um, with the Sidewalk Talk winners at 4.15. That is awesome and then none of this would be possible without our outstanding community partners and sponsors so let's give them a quick shout out. Arttoberfest is totally free for the community to come out and enjoy so we we have Citizens Bank as our presenting sponsor. We have Wood Family Dealerships, First Community Bank, Bank of Cave City, and Fuller Bumpers Attorney at Law. Well, it sounds like it's going to be day full of art and music, and it's just a great way for our community to get exposed to all the wonderful things that the Arts Council does. Well, it's one of our favorite events, and the weather is supposed to be perfect on Saturday, so be sure to stop out and check out all the artists. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming. It's a great day to be a pioneer. Let's get it.